I got the stove hooked up. Uh, I had to hook the gas up and then I had to bleed the lines. So what you have to do to bleed the lines is you have to turn them on and then let the burners go until they, they don't flicker and pop because that's getting the air out of the lines. Right now we're doing the oven. I got this set for 350 and you can feel the heat coming out of there. Um, you, because of the oil and that on some of the insides of the stuff on the stove, first time you use the oven, you set it for 350 or 400 and you let it burn for a half an hour. Then you could start using your oven normally. Now do we That's have to burn the oil and that off any of the piping in it. Do we have to do the broiler too? No. And show how the dials work, because this is different than my last one. Well, if you have your off, you have to push in on them to turn them. Because you can't just turn them like this, see? You have to push in on them, and it goes down to light, and then you back off on them. If you look down under here, Ruthie, it'll show. You have to turn your wrist here. You'll see where it says light. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know what you were showing. There's a little you... flame there. Okay, got right. it. Got it. Then you got high to low. Okay, I thought you were trying to say in between. And each one of these will tell you whether it's the front burner or the back burner. Which is nice. And then, unlike my other stove, these were all four different pieces. And then also no, had... they were all one piece. One piece, I'm sorry. And then... And they were hard to clean. And there's the last ones were. I was saying this one is. No, this one's going to be a lot this, easier. This one has four pieces, plus it has little, small, and big. Yeah, the last one, the stove kind of just had it, really had its day. But it's a pretty stove. And I like that it doesn't have anything up here. Cause, Dials and. Because those things and stuff. are like. They but, collect grease and stuff. And this is a lot easier because just like one big wipe. Yeah. And. After you do your dishes, you clean your stove, you wash your counters and all that, and you sweep the floor, and you do that a few times a day, and your stove should always See, stay the, clean. You can hear the popping from the heat, mm -hmm. expanding things. Mm -hmm. You can hear them. little thing sounds like somebody knocking in there. We didn't set it up last night, or Clay didn't set it up because it was getting late. Well, it was like... Six o'clock or something like that when they and, delivered well, it. With gas and stuff, I wanted to I make wanted sure. I wanted to be able to make sure I, if I was going to start working on it, that I had everything I needed to do it. And if there's any issues, you know. But I love it. And if you're hooking up your own gas, which I advise not to, you have a professional come in and do it. But I've been working with gas and water piping and that throughout my years and maintenance that you use the... On stoves and that, you use the plumber tape for the threads on the piping. And uh, when you get it all connected and tightened, you take soapy water bottle and spray the fittings to make sure there's no bubbles. If you're getting a bubble, like an air bubble, it'll be gas. You're not tight enough. So I had to check the in in threads and the out threads to make sure it wasn't leaking and it wasn't it's like getting a car for me i'm super excited now well i could use my other stove but it just wasn't working right so this is a lot well nicer. the oven wasn't working as well you're talking 20 years old yeah <coughs> but i'm super isn't it pretty guys it's so pretty well he'll have to live with this for the next 20 years i guess as long as it stays working good but I like it because it's like the old-fashioned, where you, your dials and everything, you don't have all the digital stuff. Yeah, I like it without all the but digital. I think the digital stuff is uh, a little much. And then I have a broiler on the very bottom. We well, they all have a broiler. And let me know if you use your broiler and what you use it for, because I've never really used one, and I might try it. I don't know. I never used them. I know, I don't think anybody does, but they might. That's just the warranty stuff. Well, you still have to have all the paperwork together. So we're going to have, you can smell the paint or whatever. No, it's the oil. Oh, the oil, what, the oil from what? The paint? The parts, the plumbing parts. Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. 
you got to burn that off. That's what that smell is. And this must be their logo, whoever made it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you can really smell that. Yeah, it's strong. And here, I'll turn the light on for you. See, isn't that pretty? And the thing is... That's why you let it burn off for a half an hour, so it's, it burns that smell off. And we probably won't be using it that much, just because we don't use the stove that much. We, don't, we use the stove top more than we use an oven. Yeah. You, we I think didn't. we use the oven maybe four or five times a year. So we're getting things going. That's for, like, if you're going to bake a cake or cookies or... Thanksgiving dinner is about the only time we use an oven. So this is the year of the big remodel. He's retired. We have more time. We don't have as much farming. Next thing will be the refrigerator. Yeah, the refrigerator is next. Not that it's broken, but it's just time. So, and somebody else will come get it like they did the stove in one minute. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I guess... Later we'll put it on the porch and... No, we don't need it for soda and stuff. No, we'll put it on a porch and tell somebody if they want a free refrigerator that works, come and get it. Yeah, depending on how ambitious we feel. All right, uh, I'm going to go sit down and yes. give my back a rest. Uh, when the timer goes off, just shut your oven off, dear. Okay. All right? Sounds like a plan. And we'll bag up those papers and put them in the filing cabinet for the warranties and everything. Sounds good. All right. Yep, so this stuff. Oh, by the way, what are these brackets for? That bracket is... To bracket to the wall, a, if you want if to. If you're a renter or a landlord, uh, state law says that has to be bracketed to the wall. Oh, okay, so that, okay. So if you wanted to bracket it to the wall, you can. And uh, there's all the stuff for that. And then warranty papers. So, I guess I'm going to take my break because I decided that Sunday I do nothing. I do nothing. Except the least amount of stuff. There's still little stuff I got to do, like the dishes and that, but we'll get it done. Yeah, we like those cups like that, don't we? Well, yeah. you, I don't, it's hard sometimes to put your hand around it, though. I have a hard time because my I lost the grip in my hand. Oh, let's see your shirt. <laughs> I've got your back. He's got my back. So, it's a little messy, but hey, that's what I get all week to do. I look forward to my housework now. Well, I pick my tools next, up. well, I don't want to say next because I still got the painting to do, but we're getting things slowly coming around. <laughs> okay, guys. You see how much I love my stove. <laughs> I love my stove. Now you'll get a chance to use your stove. Yes, I will. Okay, guys. So remember, if you're small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.